The shores of the Arabian Sea are adorned by a lush green landscape right through most of the west coast of India. But not in the Kutch region of Gujarat, which barely gets 15 days of rainfall. More than 50% of the land here is desert and the percentage of cultivators has decreased even as the population has grown by about 20% every 10 years. Deserted villages like Pyaka haunt the Kutch region where droughts are common. People had managed to survive on agriculture in spite of the terrain, but as the population grew, the pressures on resources increased, and the essential element, water, became a scarce resource. As a result, more than 60 villages have been abandoned. The depletion of groundwater has been linked to uncontrolled pumping through tube wells. Supported by a flat, subsidized rate for electricity, farmers have tended to overuse groundwater. Ultimately, like in many parts of India, the water table here fell from one meter to several meters down. Across thousands of hectares in Gujarat, the water level is now below sea level, allowing salt water from the sea to infiltrate the aquifers. Women now depend on far-flung wells to get sweet drinking water for the family. It is estimated that over 40% of wells in Kutch now have saline water. But this grim scenario is being changed by local efforts at water management and the community works with the help of scientific inputs from NGOs and government agencies. Village Gandhi Gram is one example, where community groups are involved in the planning and implementation of water management to develop sustainable agricultural practices and stem the process of migration. Villagers feel motivated to offer money and labor for building and maintaining water tanks, buns and other such structures. This community participation is creating the base for success. Nearly 50% of similar projects in Kutch have been successful. And as rainwater gets stored in water tanks, the water table is beginning to rise by about 10 feet in some areas. Meanwhile, farmers are reaping the benefits of rightful access to enough water for their land holding. And Controlled water use by individual farmers is becoming possible without monitoring. Just over half the groundwater potential in Kutch has been tapped, but 250,000 people still living in salt-affected regions do have hope, as every reservoir of water that recharges aquifers becomes a symbol of different groups and individuals working to conserve a vital common resource water.